Are you looking to start your own business? Millions of brothers have turned to eBay to escape the rat race. Become your own boss and get the Power Seller Research eBook. It's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide that explains how to start an eBay business. The website is PowerSellerResearch.com. Again, that's PowerSellerResearch.com. From Los Angeles, it's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800. A listener writes in and says, what's up, Tom? A few weeks ago, I met this really hot chick at a restaurant. The next night, we went out to dinner. We had a drink or two at dinner and followed it up with a trip to the liquor store for some more alcohol. Next, we went to Blockbuster and headed back to her place with the booze and a movie. I sat through the movie and threw back shots of Hennessy. She drank also, but she suddenly didn't want to get wasted, so I did most of the drinking. We started messing around, and of course we end up in her bedroom. She sleeps only in her thong. All I have on is my boxers. Now I'm thinking it's a done deal, but of course, here comes the curveball. After this... She gives me the middle school routine. Everything above the waist is okay, but when I go over that thong, here she goes with grabbing my hand and saying, Stop! After a while, I say, To hell with it. Go to sleep. A few nights later, she invites me over again. I don't stay long because I had to work the next day. And I didn't want to go through this BS again. Anyway... I don't try anything, and I go on my way. I see her again Sunday. I take her to McDonald's. We get a scary movie. Go back to her place. I watch the lousy movie. We end up back in her bedroom. She wants a massage. She breaks out the lotion. I massage her near-naked body from head to toe. She is enjoying it. I go over the patties, and I get the same routine. Then she gives me this story about not wanting to have sex for a while. What the hell is up with this, Tom? Good question. What the hell is up with this? We've all been there. We've been with women. I imagine this goes right up to Mike Tyson. We've all been with women who show up at our place and we show up at their place and people get naked and we start rubbing and massaging and feeling and groping and whatever. And then when it comes to closing the deal, they go, ah, 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 no, no. Don't touch. Don't do that. No. Uh -uh. Now, it's one thing if somebody doesn't want to get naked. They don't want to go to the bedroom. They don't want to uh, broach that subject. They just want to give you a little peck on the cheek. Good night. You know, fine. But, um, first of all, I would not put up with this kind of behavior. That would happen to me one time. Once. It would not happen two, three, four times as happened to our letter writer. Once somebody plays that game where they get me into bed with them and I'm rubbing them with lotion or I'm uh, drinking with them and there's nothing on but a thong and then I try to reach in there and go, no, 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 that's it. I don't know what your problem is. I don't know what baggage you have. Look, if you're not attracted to me, don't take me into your bedroom. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Do us both a favor. This is nothing but the worst kind of attention whoring, in my opinion.
I think the guys want to know. I think we want to know, ladies, why you do this. We want to understand, not why other people do it, why you have done it, okay? Why would you bring a man into your bed? Why would you take your top off? Take your pants off? Maybe even take everything off. And then when he goes to reach uh, for that uh, Bermuda Triangle, suddenly it's no, no, no. I don't want to hear why your girlfriend did it, why your mother did it, why your daughter did it. I don't want to hear why your next-door neighbor did it. I want to hear why you have done it. All right, so I'm only going to talk to women this hour, and I want to find out why you've done this. Maybe you only did it one time. Maybe you used to do it all the time, and now you don't do it anymore. Maybe you still do it. Maybe you are militant about your right to do it. By the way, I, I, it would be wrong. It is illegal, and people who do this should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. But you are asking to be raped. You're asking for it. Because one day, one of those guys that you bring into your bedroom is not going to take no for an answer. It's going to happen. You know what? If you really don't want to have sex with someone, I don't think you should bring them into your bedroom. I don't think they should be sleeping in the bed with you. I don't think you should be taking your top off. No clothes should be coming off. I mean, in reality, if you don't want to have sex with somebody, they should not see any naked skin, no body parts. You shouldn't be yanking their crank. I mean, if you don't want to have sex with somebody, have a cup of coffee and then kick them out. Or if you think that they'll try to overpower you, don't even invite them in. I understand why you do it. So, ladies, that's what I want to find out from you. I want to find out why you would have a guy there and to get him all up into a frenzy and get him into your bed and then go, ah, ah, ah. Why would you do that? 1, 800, 5, 800, uh, The more money you make, the more power you have. The more power you have, the more money you have. The more money you have, the more power you have. The more money and power you have, the more poon you can consume. The Tom Likey Show. Tom Likey Show. 800 Tom. Hi. Jamie on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Do you care? I love you, Tom. I do care. I'm doing great. Listen, I'll tell you why I do it. It's like an investment in their trust. If they, if they say that they just want to give you a back rub, you have to trust them, and that's all they want to, that's all they want to do. Mm-hmm. And if they follow through with that, then maybe the time after that you might... Give it up to them. Mm-hmm. That's fair enough, don't you think? No. Why? Because it's a tease. It's a big tease. But no, if they say, listen, I just want to give you a back rub. That's all I want to do. Then come on, you know that's a come on. You know that's not meant to be taken literally. You know that. If you don't want to have sex with a guy and a guy says, let me give you a back rub, say no. But I want a back rub. No, you're cheap. Go to get a massage if you need a back rub. But it's free. This is free. Oh, cheap. Like... Women, cheapest creatures on earth. <laughs> Aren't you worried that one day a guy is going to Mike Tyson you? Aren't you worried about that? You tease a guy like this, and one day you're going to say no, and the guy's going to say, what, are you kidding me? You got me this far. No, because what if they don't have their clothes off? Then they're not any. They're not far. They've gone nowhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, if they're doing it naked, that's a whole other story. But if they're clothed and all you have is... Why don't you wait till you're ready to have sex with them to get a massage? Because I'm taking them at their word that that's all they oh, want to do. That it. they just kind of want to... But, that, but so you're just acting stupid, is that it? But doesn't it give them a... Like, they get to have a quick peek at what they're They don't want a quick enough? peek. They don't... We don't want a quick peek. I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of all of us. We don't want a quick peek. We want a good, long look well, from the inside. why do they offer it? Because they, they know, because a man can't just say to most women, I just want to F you right now. Why not? Because most women would go, ew, okay, what a creep you are, ew. What if we say, okay, you can give me a back rub, but no fooling around. But you know, it doesn't matter. They still do it, then what? Because we believe if you're letting us do it, that in reality uh, be, you're being polite about it. You guys are filling in the blanks then. Because, if we because say we that, believe that you don't, you, you know, we, we believe we can't speak frankly with you about sex. See, I encourage guys to say, you know, I want to do you. Or I don't really give a rat's ass about you, I just want to do you. I tell guys to say that. But you know what? Most men don't, and most women also, when they want to get laid, don't say it. Or when they don't, are not specific about it. And in many cases, is women know that we're trying to get sex, but they pretend like they don't know, like you do. 
Well, then we're supposed to hear that thing that they want. This is just a preclude to sex. I, yes. I, I, let me give you a back rub means I want sex tonight. That's what it means. That's what it means. We are not in the end. You know what? It's like just saying, you know what? Giving someone a back rub is a big pain in the ass. It's a big pain in the ass, and there's nothing in it for the person giving the back rub. Because there's nothing in it for us. How about I uh, clean your uh, kitchen pans and pots as well? Hey, How about I wash your windows? You know what? Nothing in it for us to give oral gratification either. Who's asking for oral gratification? We want to stick well, it in. I'm just making a similarity. I'm making a... <laughs> All right, but the point is we just want to stick it in. And you know what? When you say, oh, sure, give me a back rub, believe me, don't, uh, don't act like you're stupid. If that specifically means we want to penetrate you. <laughs> that is what that means. And you're I'll playing with fire. You, you are playing with fire to tell a guy to give you a back rub when you have no intention of having sex with him. What if you tell him up front, though? I'm not going to have sex. Again. With you, but you can rub my back. By away. telling a guy he can give you a back rub, he thinks he's got a shot. Even if we say, but you're not. Yes, stop being cute about this. If you don't want to have sex with a guy, tell him no. Okay, no sex, just the back rub. No, tell him no back rubs. I'm not interested in you physically. I'm not having sex with you, and it wouldn't be fair to tell you to get a back rub because that's what you're going to want. And the guy will say, oh, no, that's not what I want. But he does want that, so just say no. <laughs> you want a back rub, spend 20 bucks and go to the mall and get a back rub. But that's with a stranger. What if you know this guy? Please, you, if you know him that well, have sex with him. Stop using this as an excuse. You, You're not getting anywhere. This is a game you play. You love to see how far you can push a guy. You love to, you know what? It's like the little kid who likes to take a hamburger and put it next to the fence where a dog is, and the dog is, woo, woo, woo. Kids love doing that. They love holding their candy in there, making the dog bark. They love doing that, and that's what you're doing. Well, I never pictured it that way. That's what it is. It's now, do you really think men like giving you back rubs? Be honest with me. No, because no. I don't like giving them either. Do you know, yeah, you remember what your thumbs felt like the last time you gave somebody a back rub? Yes. No. Do you think anybody does that for fun? No, perhaps. No, we don't. So now what you're doing is you are pretending to be stupid in order to get something for free. Like most women do when they go to the uh, they go to the auto repair place and they go they go to a fashion show they are like oh you know I love these clothes but I can't afford them Mr Designer <laughs> and then they hope they're going to get something for free that's what you're doing no I'm just wanting a back rubber that's all but you know what into a mindset. you're a forty year old woman do you have a job. Yes, I do. Go to the mall. There are people giving massages at the mall or at airport terminals. Go well, what there. What if I consider having sex with this person later? Maybe then again, he'll give you a back rub at that time. All right, Tom. Ugh, God, I hate this mentality. I hate it. Janine on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, I have a comment. You're saying that... Girls pretend to be stupid to get something for free. Right. Well, what do what are guys doing by giving your ETM receipt to girls with their numbers? Oh, there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. We're being deceitful. So what's wrong with girls being? Well, yeah, here's the here's what I'm trying to tell you. You are playing with fire. Because one day you're going to get Mike Tyson. I'm telling you, it's going to happen to you one day. You keep getting into bed naked with guys, or almost naked, and then they're going, ah, ah, ah. And why, did you hear the show he did on date rape? Yes. Did you hear the guys calling in going, I told her, you took me this far, I'm not going to stop now. It, it, there, one day you, well, girl you, you them, are going to end up with a guy like that. Well, any girl that is... is and then you're going to call, you're going to call 911. Are you looking to start your own business? Millions of brothers have turned to eBay to escape the rat race. Become your own boss and get the Power Seller Research eBook. It's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide that explains how to start an eBay business. The website is PowerSellerResearch.com. Again, that's PowerSellerResearch.com.